Hi friends, now let me discuss on different types of threads, the forms of uh, threads, myself or Dean Chetan. Now uh, let me, before going to that, we should know what do you mean by thread and thread terminology is. And uh, you are already familiar with, so I will uh, briefly glance it and then I will move on to the one type of form of thread that is the isometric thread. So here you can see the different types of thread terminologies, right? Crest, root, a major diameter, minor diameter, uh, height or depth of thread, pitch, planks, and uh, this is the angle, crest, root, pitch. Here I have a clear uh, description. What do you mean by helix? What do you mean by external thread? What do you mean major diameter, minor diameter, each and everything? So now I will go in detail regarding how to construct or how to draw a ISO metric thread. Yes, here I already drawn. This is a external. This is sorry. This is the internal thread and this is a external thread separately. If you need, this is the internal thread and this is the external thread. And total fundamental height for the. Isometric thread is given by 0.87 times the pitch and the root height is given by h by 8 and the crest height is given by h by 4 for internal thread and uh, root height for external thread is given by h by 6 and the crest height is given by h by 8 and the angle is 60 degrees. So now let me draw how to construct this. How to construct that? So I will insert a new sheet. So first, I will draw four lines. And I will extend this. So first, I will make the distance between. This crest distance, sorry, for uh, internal thread, the root is given by a distance h by 8, that is 5.4375. relationship it is 5.4375 and this is given by that is 10.875 that is a uh, h by 4 and total fundamental height is given by h that is 0.87 times the pitch so pitch I have taken it as 50 mm that is 0.87 into 50 that is 43.5. So now from here I will draw a inclined line something like this and I will draw axis line and the pitch is distance between two consecutive trusses or crests and this pitch is 50 mm and what I do is I will make a symmetric relationship relationship that is symmetric relationship this is the axis and these two it should be a symmetric relationship with this and this axis is already a distance these two I will take it as the axis. Next here, I need to construct. So here I need to draw a round. So in order to do that, so with this intersection point, relationships, intersection point, Zoom this. With this intersection point, I will draw one line. That line should be perpendicular 
to this line. So, we are the center point. Where this intersection line intersect this axis line, that point is the center. From here to here as radius, I will draw arc. Next, I will go with the line. Through point one star. So this is the one I have constructed. This is only a one thread. This is only one thread. Like this, I need to have minimum show minimum of two, three, or four threads. So I will show a minimum of three threads. So in order to do that, I'll select and I will move. I will move copy with this end point. I will go into the second thread. Third thread, if I need, I can add a one more thread to four threads. So, so now I will go with the curve. So with this end point blindly, I will draw a rough indication. So we'll go with the fill. I'll fill it. This completes the external thread. This completes the external thread. Now the same thing I can uh, start with the, sorry, this completes the internal thread. And the same thing I can start with the external thread. So for doing that external thread, I can copy the same thing. And I can bring it down. I can bring it down. And uh, I will remove all this. I think portion dot line. I will keep it. Now for external threads, here the external thread should meet here, so this distance should be same as this, but at the bottom it will change, that is a H by 6, that is 7.25 mm. So in order to get an arc for the root, so I should bisect it, so I will go with the angle between these two, sorry, angle between this to this is 120 degree so I should draw a 60 degree line so where this 60 degree line intersect with respect to this axis I will hide the Now we'll go to the trim. I will trim off the axis. Now draw the line. Or 
I can mirror it. Now what I do is these two and if required this axis. I will move copy selected this here two here three and here four. Now I will go with the curve. Yes, I will go to the fill and I will fill it. So there may be uh, many bugs in the software, sometimes it will not. So now I have constructed a internal threads as well as external threads. So now I should meet these two. So what I do is I will select this internal thread. So for the time being I will delete this. I will select this internal thread and I will move. I will uncheck the move copy and with this end point I will meet it exactly here. So now the external as well as internal threads both are mated. External as well as internal threads both are mated and the angle between these two is obviously 60 degrees. The same thing will be there for these two. So this completes. ISO matrix thread external and internal thread. Right? Thank you.